Hi and welcome to my channel The Stitchy Wife. I'm Elizabeth and today we're going to talk about what patterns I'm going to make and what fabrics I'm going to use. My June plans. <music> First of all, thank you to those of you that keep coming back to my channel and keep encouraging me and keep giving, giving me thumbs up and comments and all the love you just keep on giving. I hope you can feel how much it means to me and I know I keep on repeating it but I can't say it enough. Thank you. You are one of the big reasons why I get up in the morning at the moment and yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are new here, please welcome. I hope you can feel how welcome you are. Uh, my channel is all about crafting, mainly sewing and sewing a new wardrobe for me and my husband. Uh, I have started off by making only for me, but this month I'm planning to make some for Peter too. So stick around if you want to see some men's sewing. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would do, because it would help getting me out there. And it would help with it would help with the algorithm and so on. I don't know quite how it works, but I know that it works. And yeah, it would mean a lot. But the main thing is that you are here. So thank you for coming and I hope you will enjoy when I share what I'm going to make this month, or at least what I'm going to plan to make this month. Because with me, you never know as those of you that have been here before know. Well, the month of June, for me, it's almost an obvious plan to have, and that is to sew with Hey June handmade patterns. Since I'm a very big fan of her since, yeah, I'm guessing at least five, year, five years back. I don't know how old her pattern company is. I don't know if I discovered it just in the beginning. She didn't have many patterns when I started sewing them. And this last, I would say 18 months or maybe two years, time flies so fast. Uh, I've been a pattern tester for her too. And I just love her way of creating patterns, of drafting them, of her style and her I just love the way she's managing things and doing things. So I couldn't be happier to make a complete module around her patterns. So this month for me is going to be all about Hey June Handmade. And I might be sewing something else, but to be completely honest, I have my hands full with this. So we'll see if I get through this first and then we talk about the rest. What my thoughts are for this month is to go back to the capsule wardrobe thinking and module uh, sewing because lately I've just been sewing a little bit of that and a little bit of this and I've been quite, I've been all over the place and uh, I need to get back to what I want to make because now it feels like I ha still have nothing to wear and the weather here in Sweden is very up and down. Uh, for those of you that saw my makes video, May makes video, you saw that we had wonderful, beautiful weather. And it was about, I think it was between 20 and 25 degrees outside. Well, it isn't today. Today it's 8 and it's raining. It is, yeah, it's pouring down. And it is so cold and so, you know, you just want to cozy up inside by the fire. And uh, so I've, actually what I'm wearing today is, since I'm going to talk about Hayden Handmade, uh, it's my first pattern test for her. It's the Sitka sweater. And I've done a mishmash of, um, I've collected a lot of scrap fabrics and created a sweatshirt around that. I will insert pictures here so you can see a little bit more here or here. Um, more um, clear how I made it. And uh, on my bottom half, I'm wearing the mountain pose pants, another love from Hand June Handmade. No, Hey June Handmade. I can't believe I can't say it after all this time. Uh, 
keep twisting my tongue. Uh, a free pattern for tights and it is an amazing pattern. So if you haven't tried that one, please do, do because you will never regret, regret it. I will insert pictures of me wearing what I'm wearing today. Well, my plans. Another big inspiration for me is actually here on YouTube and those of you that have been here before, to you it's probably no surprise that I'm talking about Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery. She is one of my big idols. Um, I love what she's doing, how she's doing it and I love her makes, I love the way she's presenting things. She's a wonderful person. I have I've had some conversations uh, with her in mails and so, emails and so on and she's beautiful inside and out and um, yeah I'm a big fan of her and I talked about it last time that I discovered she just came out with a base a tool for creating a basic wardrobe and I started that but I decided to let this month be just one capsule if you go to her website and leave your email address and she will send you um, newsletters you will receive this basic guide that i'm talking about and i will go through that in a video a little bit later on in the summer because i need to figure out my own first before i talk about it but i really like the look of it and i like the plan you can uh, all the plans you can make with it so it's going to be a great help and a big tool in my creating my own basic wardrobe and um, creating modules around a capsule wardrobe so i'm going to do it like that and i'm going to start the whole thing off with using patterns that i know i like and love i know that um, they are not all of them are tried and true because i have actually not tried the topper pattern yet and that's the first for me i've recently discovered it um it's been i bought it a while ago but I never thought about making it so it's quite fun actually uh, I think I used one of my free uh, when you're pattern testing for Adrian of Hey June, hand, hey June Handmade she is giving a free pattern of um, a free choice of a pattern that uh, you can choose whichever one you like from her website and I think I, that is one of the patterns I choose and I never thought about much more I never thought much more about it but now I realized it's going to be a great topper for summer here in Sweden because since the weather is as is you um, you need something that with a bit of warmth today I would have needed a lot more warmth than I'm actually having so because I've tucked away all my winter clothes and that was a big mistake but um, well I'm using blankets at the moment and I'm using my beloved Udi so um, yeah, my green hoodie. So uh, yeah, that is working out fine. But back to my module. Whitney, who's taught me about modules and capsule wardrobes and so on, she has created a capsule wardrobe for herself and she using the module system where she's creating it one module at a time. And that is makes it a bit easier to break, it breaks it down. It, is, it get, doesn't get overwhelming the same way that saying that you're going to create a new capsule wardrobe does for me at least i got very overwhelmed when i thought started to think about it but uh, now thinking about creating one module at a time it is working out much better at least in my mind since i haven't gotten that far i did one module last uh, this autumn one of my first youtube videos was about the module i did using love notions patterns and it was a great one uh, and i used them a lot during the winter but as i said let's get talking about my module and what the module consists of the module system as whitney has taught me is i don't know who she's taught it from or learned it from but um, i will link her channel down below and you can go and see all her videos about this so you will get to learn about a lot more about it but she tells you to she tells me to do one topper which is some kind of layering piece so to speak a cardigan or a thicker shirt or um, 
as in my case it's a sweatshirt jacket more or less and then you need two bottoms and then you have three tops and with this you can create i keep on forgetting how many how many different creations you can get it must be and then when you do two modules it triples or quadruples in amounts it's it's a great way of with a few a few items you get a big wardrobe so to speak a lot to choose from and everything will work together because that is the basic idea of it and the color scheme that i am aiming for is I will try and insert colors down here. Um, I am planning on making white as one of my light neutrals. I am planning on using um, denim blue and gray anthracite. Anthracite. I don't know how to exp um, how to um, pronounce that. It is gray. It's um, charcoal gray almost it's not black but it is it's dark a dark neutral and then my denim blue and my fuchsia that is my favorite color or the marseille dress that i wore last video that fuchsia pink and uh, i don't think i'm gonna get that much fuchsia in this module i'm thinking one of my extras will be that color but i'm gonna add my marseille dress to this module and then i will get that color in, in so that is a great way well to start off with the topper that is gonna be the evergreen jacket i almost forgot it i will try and insert pictures um, in front of me and i will read to you what it says about it I will also insert the sizing uh, as a picture instead of reading them out loud and you can pause the um, video so you can see the sizing because I actually had a lot of feedback saying that do you think it is it's taking too long time uh, when we youtuber read out the sizing loud and I can agree with that I like it when you see it on the screen and um, you can you can pause the video so you get the info but you don't have to listen to it because it takes a lot of time all of that but here you can see the picture of the evergreen jacket and adrian describes it as a stylish yet cozy knit jacket with a motor styling an asymmetrical zipper and zipper pockets yoke collar and front lapels are fully faced to your garment will be beautifully finished inside and out Make the evergreen jacket in a cozy sweatshirt fleece and you will live it in all weekend. That is my plan. I will live in it all weekend and I will definitely make it in a cozy sweatshirt. I think I got this sweatshirt in from Stop and Steal as they were called before, uh, self-made. And here we have it. I think I have included a picture of all my project bags and it is so fulfilling and so comforting to see them all. I've all cut uh, all the items out and everything is ready to start sewing and yeah, I just love the feeling of it. But I will show you a piece of the fabric I will be wearing. It is pure sweatshirting. It's a bit of stretch. I think it is 25% stretch. Here is the backside and that is where what my cuffs and my front lapel will be in the wrong side out so to speak this is the right side out and i think this is a mix of denim and gray so i think it will work out great to have as a layering piece because it is something else than my denim jacket and um, it's still cozy and it's short so i can use it for my dresses and so on and i think i'm gonna get a great use of it I've never sewn this pattern, as I said, so it is a bit of a, yeah, I don't know about the fit and so on, but the, her block used to fit me quite well, and I'm going to do, I'm going to go with it and just try it and see where it gets me. I'm, I've cut out a size large, and according to the measurements, I'm in between large and medium, 
so it is a bit iffy there but I thought it's better to cut it big and since I don't know about the stretch here and I don't know about the fit I know that I can always take it in instead of making it too small and I think it will be ca kind of cool with all uh, with the zippers and the zipper pockets I think I'm going to be using the zipper pockets if not I'm going to do some kind of welt pocket uh, but I will see where it takes me and uh, how far I get. I'm not going to start with the evergreen jacket because I'm planning on making quite a few sew alongs for I'm going to try and aim for four sew alongs. I can't promise you anything. That is the hard truth. But I'm going to try because I really would like you to discover Hate You and Handmade if you haven't already. And I know there isn't a lot of video tutorials on her patterns and I can't believe why because it is an amazing pattern company as I said so many times before. I will leave a link down below for all the patterns. I will um, I will put up in my community page as soon as I've published any sew alongs. Hopefully I will get one up this week. Um, if not before Friday sews, it will be till uh, in the weekend. And I've decided to do the evergreen jacket is not going to be a sew along now. If it's going to be a, if it's a success, I will try and do a sew along um, this autumn for that pattern because I think it is it is more autumny. Sorry, I keep on knocking the camera. And I I if you see my blick, my um, my eyes wandering a bit, it is because I can see how much the light is. Um, flickering in my glasses and I'm so sorry for that but we are it is so terribly grey here in Sweden today so I can't get any daylight anywhere so I hope you you're okay with this and it is working for you I'm so sorry if it's irritating you because I can be quite irritated by things like that but I hope you're okay with it back to the evergreen jacket and hey June handmade I won't be doing this so long now for the evergreen jacket, as I said, because I don't know the pattern that well. I want to do it for the patterns I know and for the patterns I can share some knowledge about and share some tips about how I sew them best. So that is why, but I will definitely do one in the autumn if you're interested in it. But let's continue from the topper to my first bottom. And that is the Seaforth pants and I will insert pictures here how that pant is looking and I wanted a pair of linen pants and I think this is the perfect match because this one I've made before and I love them they were a bit big and um, I decided to size down and I've actually decided to do view B that really is a narrower leg with ankle length elasticated hem. hem. It's supposed to be a, you know, a little bit more stylish um, casual wear. You know, those woven joggers that is all over the place last year. But um, not all over the place, everywhere, I mean. But I'm making, I'm lengthening the leg piece and I'm using the narrow, narrow leg part because my leg is so skinny. So um, the other one is too full for my liking. So I mixed and matched a bit myself, but I love the zip on the pocket. I love, I'm gonna copy her, her linen pants completely, uh, except for the fact that I'm doing UB without cuffs. So um, yeah, that will be a sew along because I think this is probably the perfect linen pants in the summer and in autumn too because you can have it as a layering piece so um, it's great for the, those of you that are in the southern hemisphere too so that is my plan for those and I'm going to use this linen fabric that I bought at Rainbow Fabrics in UK and it is I think it is a linen viscose blend Hope you can see it. I don't know if it washes out. This is not in my color palette. I know that. And I'm going to use cotton thread so I can dye it if I need to. 
if it isn't matching and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use cotton thread as I said so I can be open to any coloring dyeing that I want to make but I can also see that a linen a pair of linen pants in linen color almost always works I think so at least and I'm gonna wear it so um, I think I'm gonna keep it that color because it is so reminiscent of summer for me and uh, I love the look of Adrian's pants and uh, I want to copy them that is it so if you want to join me for so long for that please uh, stay put and if you don't subscribe please do because um, then you will be notified once I put that video up that is my first bottom my second bottom is another pattern that I actually forgot a little bit about and it is the Sandbridge skirt it is a denim skirt and it is supposed to be sewn in rigid denim, denim but I have actually a denim that is you can see I think it is maybe it isn't a lot of stretch but it is some stretch I bought a lot of uh, denim uh, remnants from a fabric store in Gothenburg and um, I love using them for trying this out because the sun this skirt is also something I haven't sewn since I was a lot bigger so then I think I sewed size 20 and now I'm uh, sewing size 10 so it's quite a bit of difference so um, the only thing is I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna copy Adrian again but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make mine a bit longer than you can see here in the picture her pictures but I'm gonna do a raw hem and see how that works out in this fabric because this is a bit of a middle weight and I don't know the weight of it I don't have anything left from that remnant sale so um, I don't know the info about it but um, I really like the look of that and I think it's going to be perfect to have a denim skirt in my first cap summer capsule and um, I don't know if she said and that is also planned to be uh, so long because I think that could be useful both the zipper and the pockets and yeah I think it is a great way of starting to sew with denim uh, but without sewing jeans so yeah i hope you agree with me please let me know if i'm choosing the wrong patterns to do as so longs my plan is to go through all of her patterns that i like and love uh, and so do so longs with them um, more or less at least or at least so with me where i can share the difficult parts there isn't many difficult parts but you know the bit that is a bit more tricky that could be nice to see on camera so yeah that is the sandwich skirt and I'm gonna sew it in size 10 if I didn't say so then we're off to the toppers and I have here we have actually three tops that I haven't tried before so it's a bit um, fun but I don't know how I'm gonna do with the sew along part here but I'm gonna do it so with me so to speak because first off we have the lame raglan top and that is a knit top with tons of options uh, it fe the features include a chest pocket hood wristbands a thumb hole wristbands hem band curved hem a long three quarters or elbow length sleeves and you can also have a separate uh, there is also included a separate pattern with a built-in full bust adjustment it's a great beginner pattern as it is a raglan pattern and i'm actually gonna do it as a sew with me since i am gonna use an old jumper as we call them in sweden that mum got no i'm saying her wrong she didn't get it she didn't survive it so to speak um, she died during covid and we couldn't get to her and um, we bought some no new clothes to bring her where she lived and um, we couldn't get to her in time 
So this is, I'm getting emotional. I wasn't prepared for that. Hang on a minute. Sorry for that. Uh, I don't know where that came from. It's been quite a rough day. I had my nurses here for five hours today and they just kept on trying to um, set the IV and it didn't work. The needle didn't want to stay in. All the vessels just broke. And uh, yeah, it's been quite a, quite a tough day. And I, as I said in the beginning of this video, if I hadn't if I hadn't had you, had you, I would have gone directly to bed. I would have not. I definitely wouldn't have uh, gone into my sewing room or tried to sew or do anything. I would just go to bed and draw the blanket over my head and just cry. But yeah, I decided to film this instead. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for keeping me up. Back to mum's jumper. It is a raglan t-shirt that was bought for her with a placket. It isn't a faux placket, but I am thinking about making it a faux placket because I definitely not need, I don't need it. I will try and insert a picture of the whole jumper so you can see it is some kind of cotton jersey not that much stretch if you see here it isn't that stretchy but i like the colors and i don't like the buttons i want uh, i'm more of a silvery when i try to do my colors myself i ended up in this i will insert a picture of this you have to almost close your eyes because i look horrific in this picture but they said it should be a raw picture and this is a raw picture i thought let's do it while i'm at my worst and if they find a, a color that works for me then it won't be a, a problem so i decided to do that so here you are i hope i don't blind you but this is that silver is definitely my cup of tea and it is i like silver i like white gold and i like silver and um, so I think I will be better off with the silver buttons. And uh, I'm actually thinking about closing this placket because it isn't very well done since it is a store-bought uh, jumper. It's a rabbit wear and I only see all the flaws. But I can't help but wanting to keep it since it were the last thing I bought for mum, even though she never wore it. So I'm going to redo that as Elaine Raglan. Is my plan so if you want to join me for that that is definitely happening maybe tomorrow already we'll see it depends on how how long the um, home care nurses will stay tomorrow but otherwise that is happening tomorrow so yeah that is very exciting because i have never tried the lane raglan before and i love a good raglan pattern and yeah so let's keep our fingers crossed that this will work i don't i have not figured out how to do with it because the neck band if you can see is it's only binding and i want some kind of uh of course if i do a if i stitch it together i could always do a regular um cuff piece or what do you say neck band piece but it would would look very suspicious if you had a neck band like this and then a placket wouldn't it help help me what do you think how could i fix that without using the binding piece because the binding is really badly done it's very uneven and it's even some small holes in it come to look of it look at it help me have you had any ideas what i can do with it because I really like the look of the placket, so I don't want to stitch it together completely. Um, yeah, ideas, please. That is the Lane Raglan as my top, uh, top, one of my tops. One of the other tops is the Largo top, and I really think this looks like a fun one because this has a tie detail, as you can see, and it is a woven top that has either a straight hem or a tie hem 
and um, I like a great wo woven pattern but I don't have one that suits me so I hope that this one will be that one uh, of course I will start off by using the tie version to make it more complicated for myself I will share with you what fabric I'm using and it is a very soft very denim blue linen uh, viscose it's 50 50 i think and i love the drape of this it's looking a bit gray in the camera but it is more blue and this is another one i'm thinking about using cotton thread so i could dye it if i needed to to make it even a bit more blue but i think what do you think does it suit me it's hard to see but it's looking more like the fabric i think it will suit me don't you think I'm really excited about this top all of a sudden. Yay! That was also a bit of faff because I didn't have a lot of fabric so I um, had to try and piece it together but I did. I did and it worked and um, I'm so excited about it. So hopefully you will maybe see that on Friday Sews. Maybe. Fingers crossed. The last top in my module is the Phoenix blouse and that one I've done once and I really like the look of it. I, it is a, the Phoenix blouse is a cute and casual boho style top in tube views. View A features three quarter length bell sleeves while view B is a flattering sleeveless style. And I'm going for the sleeveless style and I am um, actually gonna do something like she has done on her this isn't adrian that is modeling this uh, blouse but i love the look of that lace insert so to speak so i used a uh, bed linen from hemtex uh, homeware store here in sweden i think i shared about that last time and um, i'm doing the sleeveless i said that from that and I bought a huge chunk of cotton linen with these ties. I'm going to use this as the ties on the blouse. I will insert pictures again on the blouse while flipping. And it is so incredibly soft, this linen, already. So I don't know how they prepared it, but I've just washed it once, not even dried it. So uh, yeah, I'm so excited for this blouse. But I've actually found one of mum's old um what do you call it you put it on the tabletop table runner table runner i think which has lace can you see it it is no not lace it's embroidery and i'm going to insert this and see how it looks first i thought about just having this piece but i think it's a bit too see-through it's a bit too good so I decided to put the white behind it and I hope it will work out. I will try and film some while I'm doing it so you can at least I can at least share that. Or maybe I do it as a sew with me, not a sew along, not a regular sew along, because that is also a blouse I would love to do a sew along for later on. But that is not my main focus at the moment. So um, or maybe it is. Maybe I can use this because it isn't it is a very easy pattern except for the uh, insert here that is a bit tricky otherwise it's very very we'll see what do you think which one of these five would you like so long for and what i'm also doing is two extras just to complicate things a bit uh, i'm also planning on doing the greer jumpsuit and the marseille dress I don't know if this will be, be before June is over, but it doesn't matter. It's all in my head that it's need to be in June. But I'm starting it in June and I'm going to be grateful for every, everything I've got made. And the Greer jumpsuit is cut out uh, with the linen that I bought from um, the ne Netherlands uh, two months ago. I will insert a picture of it here somewhere and uh, i dyed it 
if you remember. I dyed it in three different colors and one of the pieces of fabric I have left and I decided to do my Greer jumpsuit in that and that is definitely going to be so long because that is a great piece of pattern and it's quite reminiscent of the Heyday dungarees but I think this actually is better because uh, this is more versatile and she has add-ons with sleeve that are free and it is a bit more polished and yeah I really like this so um, Greer jumpsuit if you don't mind it very much I will definitely do a sew along for that and the Marseille dress since that is such a new pattern and such a lovely pattern to have in the summer it would be such a great thing to um, sew together so uh, I don't have the fabric for that yet so that is something that will be I will tell you about in my Friday sews or in my next video because I see now that this video is 40 minutes already and I was also planning on telling you what I'm planning to do for Peter. I have uh, there is a challenge that is called He May June that Adam sews and Lisa Lisa I keep forgetting her handle I'm so sorry for that I will insert it here again uh, they are uh, putting focus on the fact that there are so little menswear patterns in comparison to women's wear and I completely agree. I love sewing for Petru and uh, at the moment I need to drop them myself to get them to fit. So it is amazing that they are starting this challenge and I am so up for it. So this is definitely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decided that I'm gonna leave one complete week in June for Peter and his girls. I don't know which week yet, but I will do a plans video up to that week um, in the near, uh, very near um, the days before I start that week. I will do a plans video for what I'm sewing for him because this video will be an hour or more if I don't do it like that. So um, I hope you think that's okay. Um, one of the things I'm planning to make for him is um, sweatpants and sweatshorts and I've decided to try the... All of a sudden I draw a blank again. What is that pattern called where you put in your numbers and they drop the pattern after your numbers? Um, once again I have to insert it here. I used it for knickers and it worked out great so I'm very excited to try and use it for sweat sweatpants for Peter because he isn't that easy to get the fit right and I really would love to get the fit right for him but as I said it's terrible how few patterns there are for men so that is very exciting to see what people come up with and what they are going to sew and what they're going to share and I'm going to do a complete video for it so probably some sometimes around the end of next week because I'm going to I think I'm going to do the week after that just for Peter because it's easier to focus like that for me and um, yeah so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I will have the energy for that otherwise I am happy to just see what the challenge are uh, bringing and I will sew for him in July if I got sick if I get sick this month so it's no worries like that but anyway I really would like to get sewing for him now because he needs he's in desperate need of clothes too and I'm going to try and do it module style too because I think it is a great way so it's going to be a sweatshirt sweatpants sweatshorts and t-shirt so I'm going to get the t-shirt um, for summer in there too that Joey is uh, hosting this challenge this summer I mean a challenge this uh, June but that is something for another day because this video got long and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you liked it and I would love it if you give, give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay know and get notified when um, I publish all the makes of all these big plans and all the sew alongs and all that. Well, that was all for today. So thank you for staying put if you have had the energy to stay this long. 
and I will be hopefully seeing you tomorrow or the next day and well the next day is Friday so I will definitely see you on Friday at Friday's house if nothing else and um, in that case we will do um, so with me on Saturday there will be a so with me on both the Ragland and the Phoenix Plus I think well that is a lot of plans and um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you all get to get some sewing done and if not at least get some planning done because it is an amazing hobby we have that planning is almost as exciting as doing it at least for me so uh, take care and take care of each other and take care of yourself and remember to love and remember that life is short enjoy every moment of it even if it's tough take care and have a wonderful evening bye for now